back to more Mario Maker levels. Uh, we're going to be doing some troll streams tonight. Uh, I might do some viewer levels. I don't know if I have time to today or not. It's going to be a short stream. I'm back in office at work, which means, well, I have to stream at night instead of day, which means I have significantly less time. So we're going to make the most of it, and we're going to play a couple of these troll levels that I really like playing. These are made by Troll King Jason, and we're going to enjoy one or two of them and maybe a viewer level or two, depending on how much... Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me, how much time we have. So, let's jump right into it. We're doing one we haven't played before. So, Troll Castle 22. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> There's a fish with the one-ups. That was clever. It was very clever. So, we want to avoid the fish altogether. Let everything kind of go. Okay, so there's a pipe. You can't get up into there. It's only a down. There's a vine to climb up a springs door. Hidden blocks. Okay. Dragon Ghost is here. And Emmy's here. Hi, Emmy. Sorry, it sent me the messages backwards. Hello, both of you. Look at how many badges the Emmy has. She's got a mod badge, she's got a first badge, she's got a subscriber badge. She supports me so much. Oh, and there I go. Okay, I see the I see the troll there. Okay. So I think we want to hit both of these blocks so that it can still break all of these. I think. We need to get maybe up in that door, or maybe up to that conveyor belt. I think maybe the conveyor belt. Mm. So the door seems too obvious. I think you can make that jump, but maybe not. <clears throat> okay, well, I missed the jump. The box seems too obvious, but it's it's too good not to hit, right? Like, you gotta hit the box. We gotta see what's in there, so... I don't think there's a way to get that power up, but maybe? Let's see, we can jump up with a pixel jump here, so we don't have to hit the spring. Yeah. So, we can make it up to the door that way if we're really careful. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we made it through the door. There's an obvious box that we don't want to jump into, which probably means there's a Kaizo block somewhere out here. Well, that wasn't a Kaizo block, but a spring? Not sure I understand that one. You missed watching our streams? We're gonna do more streaming uh, at some point. I know that Emmy gets frustrated with the streams a lot because something always breaks and we don't have a whole lot of time. So it's like, when you've only got an hour or two, like, do you really want to spend the whole time trying to fix the streams? She's also... Well, I think we're both this way. You know, if we want to put something out, we want it to be good, right? We want it to actually look nice and be nice. So it's frustrating when there's always issues. Let's see if we can get this. I don't know if we can get this, but let's try and get this. I was pretty close, actually. Okay, so I gotta jump on the cannon. I think. Yeah, I think the cannon would be good. Dexter's here. Hello, Dexter. How's it going? Emmy, you're gonna stream tomorrow. Is it another art stream tomorrow? Oh, I got one up. Your computer chair broke today? Yeah. I remember you saying that. Um, well, you just bought that too, right? It's only like a week old. How did it break already? <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So. Your night streams are usually when you're at work. I'm sorry about that. I just wish I could stream all day, honestly. That's all I was thinking about when I was at the office today. I was like, boy, I really wish I was streaming instead. Oh. You can get that. You can definitely get that. Excuse me. 
Okay. I think we need that power up to continue, so. There we go. Wow. That is such a simple but such a mean, mean thing. You're off work tomorrow, so a morning stream is a possible. Oh, that's right. You took tomorrow off. Oh, there's a few fish in there, too. Okay. We're finding all the ways to die. It's definitely quieter in the stream at, uh, at night, that's for sure. I guess I have my niche as a day streamer rather than a night streamer, which... That's what I wanted, so I guess be careful what you wish for, because I always wished to be an early morning streamer, and then I got it, and now... Now I can't stream in early mornings. So... <laughs> You're at class 11? Alright, let's see. Now I should be able to make this jump, I think. I don't know how I messed that up, but somehow I did. Oh, we got right in the box. Why can't you stream early in the morning? So... I'm on a kind of an A-B schedule right now, so one week I work in the office for work and it's an hour drive there and a two hour drive back due to traffic, so I have to get up at five in the morning and leave directly to get to work on time rather than streaming from five. But when I work from home, because I have no commute, I have that extra hour, hour and a half, two hours in the morning to stream, and then I have much more time at night to, you know, do other things and unwind and spend time with Emmy and all that, so... Unfortunately, commute sucks up three hours, three and a half hours a day, which just leaves me no time to do anything else. Which is awful. Commuting is awful. And, like, people don't tell you about that, like... It's one of the things, like, if you get paid more to take a job that's a farther away commute, that doesn't necessarily mean you're making more money, right? Because you're just trading more time for the commute and all that. So, unless it's a hefty pay raise, those commutes don't really, uh, they're not really worth it, right? Because, like, that's three hours of unpaid time that I'm taking to drive every single day. And three hours I would rather be doing photography or spending with Emmy or... You know, doing things with you guys, but I traded that for the bigger paycheck, and I kind of regret that some days. Not gonna lie. Or sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> or sleeping. Okay, we're going back. Okay, we made it that time. Is this just gonna send us back to the beginning? No, it's not. Good morning, Edgar! <laughs> I knew I was going to do that. Good afternoon, Edgar. How's it going? Are you only accepting troll levels? I don't have a super long time to play tonight, so I was just playing a troll level. If you've got a level for me, I'll definitely play it, though. I was just playing a level that I already had because I've only got like an hour to stream tonight, so I wasn't taking too many viewer levels. But if you've got one, I'll definitely play one of your levels, Edgar. Oh, let me uh let me open that for you. There you go. I kept the queue open thinking it was gonna be like I play in the mornings and there's so many people who join, but it's been kind of quiet and sleepy. Night stream is much more chill. Alright, we got that. Okay, we're making it. There we go. Thank you, Edgar. Alright, so we gotta be careful of the... the spring. We don't wanna get thrown off into the cliff again today. Surprised to see you on it this time. So that's gonna be my... my schedule is one week I'm early and then one week I'm late. So this week I'm gonna be on late and then next week it's gonna be early. I did not expect that to happen. 
need to get this game. It is truly a super fun game. If you have a random question for us, go for it. What sorts of random question? Yeah, I, have, I work in the office one week and I work from home one week, so I'll be alternating back and forth until I get a different job. Which is hopefully soon. Two months. I'm, I'm obligated to stay to my work until July and not a moment later. So we'll see what happens. What kind of tea do you guys like? So I go through so much. Um, there's this tea that's called de-stress tea that's made by... Uh, what are they called? What's that coffee company or t uh, tea company? Do you remember what they're called? All right, see you in a second, Edgar. I forget what the, is it, I wanna say it's, it starts with a K or something like that. Yogi, Yogi makes a de-stress tea and I used to drink like three cups of that a day when I get stressed at work, so. <laughs> That's my favorite tea as of lately. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm doing this wrong because getting locked in the room with the fish is not helping me. So we're looking for other options now. I see there's that thing up there. So I wonder if this is one of those you go through the door. Oh, but you can't, you can't go back through the door. No, you can't do that. Okay. Hmm. There's nothing down there. You can't go back through the door. You can't go through the pipe. I really don't know where to go next. Chai lattes are so yummy. Chai teas all day long. I don't think I've ever had a chai tea. It looks good, but I worry about too much too much sugar, and I know that chai tea typically has, like, creams and other things in it, and I, I don't know, I haven't had one. Okay, so let's explore what little we can. Let's try and get up here? Maybe? I don't think that would do anything for me, no? No? No, it's not anything here. It looks like this door is the only option. Favorite tea is organic black dragon pearls tea. Is pearl tea like the boba tea where it's got like those really delicious, um, like, I don't know what to call them, the things that burst full of flavor? I, I guess there's bobas, right? Like, I don't know what else to call those. I just don't see where else to go. I can move out of the way of the spring. I can jump back up here, but that doesn't do anything for me. Going down there means you you lose. I can't jump through that spring. I can't hit this, and maybe I can duck in like the corner and it won't hit me if I'm ducking? Okay. That's progress. Now we gotta avoid this this thing. Okay, okay, progress. Through the pipe. Checkpoint. Okay, so this makes you think that something's gonna pop out and crush those. So it makes you wanna run to the left. So we're going to want to run to the right. <laughs> I thought for even a second, thought I had that. All right, we're going to go to the left. Turning red is worth a watch. It was pretty darn good. I really don't know why so many people were complaining about it being like full of rituals and anti-Christian propaganda. Like, I, I don't see it at all. OK, 
Okay, but what did that do? Oh. <laughs> every time I open my mouth, every time I open my mouth, something just happens. I wonder what happens if I do it this way. Can I? No, I can't even do it that way. Okay. Red jump. There we go. Do you want to watch Loki or WandaVision? I've heard both of those are really good. I think WandaVision is higher rated, though. But I think you like Loki more, so I think you'd probably like Loki more. Okay, so do we go up or to the right? Right looks correct. Up looks like where the stuff came from that hit me. So we're going to go up. That wasn't what I was expecting. Let's see, can we still go up? No. Okay. WandaVision was good, but you think Loki was better? All right, let's leave it up to chat this time. Chat, do I, chat, do I go through the top or the bottom? Or... Oh, I guess that revealed it for me. Thank you, chat. Uh, I guess this one's the real one. Alright, let's move out of the way. Hey, we dodged one. Okay. Um... But what did that do for us? Okay, we got two paths again. All right, we can we can outsmart the level on this one. Here we go. We've been going right the whole level, so that makes you want to go left, which is the troll that makes you want to go right, which means we should go left, which means we should do the opposite of what I think, and that means we should go to the right. Maybe? I think we got one. We avoided the fishes. And then we jumped right into a troll, didn't we? Yep. <laughs> oh, how far back is this checkpoint? I don't even remember where we were. Excuse me. It helps you with your migraines. It's better than coffee. Is that chai tea? So we need to activate these things so we don't get hit by them. Through here, down here. Through the door. Hit this, avoid this by standing right about here-ish. Nope, that was not avoiding it. Welcome back, Edgar. How was our Easter? Easter was so good. So we had our um, confirmation where we were officially accepted into the church. And it was a three-hour service, give or take. And it was super late at night. It was from 8 o'clock to about 11 o'clock at night. So it took some time. But it was so such a beautiful service. Like, there were people crying. I wanted to cry. It was just, it was beautiful and good. And then we took actual Easter day off to just spend amongst ourselves. We went to the grotto. There's a um, a Catholic place up here in Portland called the grotto where there's all this Catholic art and they do service. And they have this beautiful chapel and all these wonderful shrines. So we just spent the day there with each other and God. And it was wonderful. How was your Easter? 
this is the curse of being a streamer, but like every time I get on stream, my nose itches so bad, and I don't want to sit here and like itch at my nose and pick at my nose because you know that's awful. But every time I get on stream, my nose itches so bad. I don't know why that is. All right, dodge this through here. Didn't celebrate it, but you saw Batman, the new Batman. You're gonna get me started on another Batman rant today. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna rant about Batman for 10 minutes again. Oh, messed up that jump. How did you like the new Batman, though? We do need to watch Moon Knight. I have heard so many good things about Moon Knight, and I enjoy what little I know about Moon Knight, but it's not a whole lot, to be honest. I know. I worried about when Moon Knight came out because a lot of people say that they love Moon Knight, but in reality, they just love the memes that came out with um, Moon Knight, which are all, you know, fake. And so I was really worried that people were expecting the memes, like the, uh, the big popular one is, uh, I'm here, Dracula, where's my money, you nerd? And I was really worried that it would get horrible ratings because that's that's not all it is, right? So I'm uh, I'm glad so far that it has decent ratings because I was worried that, that that side of the fandom would kill it. You're not too familiar with the Batman movies, but it was a wild watch nonetheless. Wild in a good way or a wild like in a what the heck is going on way? I shouldn't have jumped. Is that a soft walk? That's really mean. Maybe those fish will come back? No, that that's a full-on soft walk, it looks like. No booze, nothing? In a good way, it was pretty long, though, but there's a lot going on. Yeah, um, I heard it was like almost three hours long. I'm so happy Marvel made a big deal out of Black Panther and Doctor Strange, two longtime favorites who needed some shine. Last Batman movie I saw was Batman v Superman. We haven't seen Batman v Superman yet either. Uh, I am glad that Marvel went with like, because even they took a risk on Iron Man, right? Like Iron Man was one of the Avengers and Iron Man was, you know, pretty cool. I knew who Iron Man was, but Iron Man wasn't like a super well-known hero outside of like quote comic book nerds right like they were kind of taking a risk on starting the whole franchise with iron man when you know they in theory should have led with one of the bigger ones like spider-man or captain america or um well those are the two big ones i can think of off the top of my head uh, they did have hulk movies before but the hulk movies were all awful they, they're still awful hulk movies like they cannot get a Hulk movie right to save their life. Iron Man is your boy. But did you know about Iron Man before the first movie? Like, I know you weren't like a huge comic book person. Did you know who like Iron Man was before we went and saw the first movie? All right, we got one by Edgar here. Uh, one, two, green field. Come and play around with a variety of creatures and wacky objects. This one doesn't look like it'll be too hard. Maybe a, a nice break from all the troll levels. Can I cosplay redeem your Mario hat? Yes. No, see, that's what I'm saying. Not a lot of people knew who Iron Man was, so it was it was a big risk for them. It'd be like if DC wanted to start doing their um, you know, movie franchise and they opened with someone like Squirrel Girl. Who, don't get me wrong, I absolutely No wait, Squirrel Girl's Marvel, isn't Squirrel Girl? Yeah, Squirrel Girl's Marvel, so I'm completely wrong on that anyways. Um Let's see, who's an obscure DC hero? Um, the Question? Is is The Question DC, man? Yeah, The Question has to be DC. Can't even think of an obscure um, DC person. I'm pretty sure I can get up there. I thought you were redeeming a cosplay, not a photo talk, or are you doing both? I want to get up there. I'm pretty sure I can. Show them the squirrels. Oh, I knew I could get up there. 
Um, I'm not sure if I have the squirrels loaded into my, uh, my thing yet. You are a comic book nerd, but it's better they took a more known hero instead of starting with a legend ripoff. Man, why can't I get this jump? I feel terrible at this game right now. There we go. I will have to load the squirrels into my photo talk program. All that for a, a one-up. <laughs> the grotto's not loaded into there either. <laughs> Iron Man wasn't obscure, but unsuspected. I think that's a good way of putting it. I mean, he was one of the original Avengers, right? So, like, he had some... some knowledge of being around. Alright, well, so we got a couple things to redeem here. So let's pause that for a second. We gotta hydrate, so... Let's drink. All right, let's do a photo. I'm disappointing Emmy with all the wrong photos I don't have set up yet, but um, I'm sure I can find one that's interesting to talk about here. See, don't you have the grotto photos on your PC? I do have them on the PC, but they are not in the program that works. For some reason, Lightroom hasn't been working with um, my stuff, so I've been having to use my Luminar Neo, which has... Um, which... Uh, has different set of pictures in it, so there's all my stuff, guys. Uh, let's see, save that and change the capture to Luminar. There we go. All right, let's find a picture here that's going to be worth talking about. Let's see, we've done Mimachu. Oh, there's a squirrel. Will that work? Does that count? This was taken on the rail trail in Anki National Wildlife Refuge. Um, if you guys didn't know this about me, I absolutely love taking pictures of squirrels. Squirrels are one of my favorite things to take pictures of, squirrels and birds. Um, he is not pooping. He was scared by us because, well, not by us. There was kids running around and the, the kids were making him kind of nervous there wasn't actually a whole lot of editing done on this photo. As you can see, he was like standing right in the sun. So I gave him a little bit more of a bright shimmer so that he'll pop out of the picture. But um, we were actually weren't that close. I was using my 1200 millimeter camera. So I would say we were probably 60, 70 feet away from him. Like he was really small. And as Emmy says, I've really gotten a good eye for catching like birds and squirrels. So really small critters. I'm really good at picking out and grabbing so um yeah this was a cute little guy at a bird refuge we went to take pictures of birds we didn't find any birds that day but we did find this really really cute fat little squirrel so uh what software do you use to edit so my main editing software is lightroom but i have this other program called luminar neo because it does some really cool stuff I'll show you really quick, maybe. Let's see if I can do it. Uh, so, like, if I find... I'm pretty sure I've edited all these photos, so... Um, oh, this one. This is a really bad photo, so... Here's what the thing does. That's This is such an amazing, powerful tool. So, we have this really, really bad photo, like incredibly bad photo. There's nothing interesting about this photo whatsoever. It's a tree with some dead grass and then a couple trees in the background. Terrible photo. But what it can do is you can do all these enhancements and details using this program that lets you like, say I want to relight the photo and I want to make it brighter closer up. I can enhance the brightness so it's actually brighter up close here. And I can increase the depth of field so I can make it darker so the depth is only as bright closer. Or I can put it farther out and relight the whole photo. So it's actually pretty accurate for relighting things. And then you can also do like, I can place the sun center up here in the corner. And then add sun rays that really enhance the photo. But that's not all. Here's the coolest tool. It's got a sky AI where I can take and add like... Those clouds suck. So why don't we add some better clouds? 
and now we've got a better sky. And then let's add a soft focus glow to the entire photo that really makes it come out. So we took this really boring, terrible photo, and now it's a much better photo. Uh, what's the program called? It's called Luminar Neo. And this one, uh, let's see, let's give it some smoothness. So it's got some really, really good stuff in it. So place the sun setter again back up here. Give it a little peaking sun. Um, so yeah, it's it's incredible. It does great on portraits too. So you can actually relight people. So if you have people in there, things like that. And then it has all the other um, kind of stuff. You can increase the structure so you can get like, the look at the detail now. It can give you a stronger detail on the photos. So you can see a lot more coming out of like, you can see each individual blade of grass in this photo now by boosting it. And then it just has like an AI that will enhance the photo in general. And you can enhance the sky. So we took a really boring photo that's ugly and had nothing going on. And in what, three minutes of editing it, it uh, it's a much better photo. It has better lighting now. It looks interesting to look at. So this is a very powerful tool for when you have those sorts of things. You can also like do uh, black and white so I can take the entire thing and convert the photo without having to do anything with it. I can just convert the entire thing to a black and white photo, but then I can also make like the reds pop out. So now we have all black and white, but then the reds show up and then we give it a little bit of yellow and the magentas. And now you have a... Um, Obviously, this is still ugly. This is bad editing, but the ability to convert it to black and white on a button is super helpful to change it from full color. Oh, now the red pops out of that tree. And then, you know, if we turn down the yellows and the magentas and turn down the reds a little bit, now we only have like the reds of the tree and the oranges of the grass. So it's an awesome program. I, I cannot recommend this one enough. I use it so much when I want to turn a photo into something really amazing. This one you can add like film green to make it like an old style photo. So yeah, that is uh, that is the photo talk. That is uh, the programs that I use to to edit things. It's it's an incredible incredible tool for changing all sorts of things like basically anything you want to change. Like I turned my moon picture, so I started with this. This is a picture I took with the moon, and then after editing it and putting some other stuff over it, that's what it became. Like, in fact, I could probably edit this one up with a little bit of relighting to make it uh, a little bit better. Actually, now that we're here, let's uh, see. Give it a little bit of pop, a little bit of depth. Relight that a little bit. Now we've got a much brighter moon that uh, that looks even nicer. That's even better. Thank you guys for recommending that. How old is this program? The Luminar Neo that I'm using right now came out. It's in beta, actually. It came out in February into beta. So it is still a fairly new program that um, it, it's absolutely incredible. That's the one that I used to really touch this photo up and get this amazing sky and all that there. So... It's an awesome program. Uh, let's see here. Where did my, where did the program go? Here we go. Sorry, I can't see the photo so dark. I can't see the outline of the Luminar Neo now and close out of it and continue the game. There we go. Okay. Pause that and um, are you okay with me sending you the painting that I'm doing of your butterfly photo? I would love to see that. I would love to have that. That's, that's so flattering to me that you would want to paint one of my photos. So I, I would absolutely love that. Um, photography sounds so interesting. Photography is, hang on, I got one more thing to show you guys. So you guys are going to be the first people to, um, to see this. So we need to 
We need to do this right, though. So if we take this, oh, yeah. switch to Luigi, and then we need to change to Luigi. One second. This came in the mail today. I got my Luigi hat. So, I also have a Mario hat, so I can be Mario and Luigi during, <laughs> during streaming Mario. Um, anyways, so photography sounds so interesting. Yes, photography is super interesting. I never thought it would, would be. I never thought I would be a photographer. I never thought it would be something that became like such a serious hobby and even a profession, but there's just so much so much to it it's so fascinating because you can you can never be a perfect photographer there's always room to grow and things to learn but i just i got so enthralled with it and i think i said this i started because i wanted to be a ghost hunter with it so i thought i was going to take some photos of ghosts and i never really got a photo of a ghost but i got so many other good photos so it's funny how life works out for you like that you're adding little details before doing the flowers and i'm going to do the butterfly last I'm so excited to see that. Emmy, where'd you go? Are you making lunch for tomorrow, or did you start watching WandaVision? Oh, I jumped right into that. Photography is so inspiring, in your opinion. You know, it's... It's so unlike anything else, like, and I'm so bad at other art, like, I can't paint at all. I can't, I can write, but I can't paint, I can't draw, I, you know, I, I can't do anything artistic that I want to do, and yet photography gives me that outlet to do something interesting, to do something that, you know, creates something, like, it's, it's so hard to explain. You're watching WandaVision? How is it so far? It gives you, well, all you guys are artists in here, right? So most of you guys will know this as artists, like the ability to see something with your eye or see something in your imagination and then bring it to reality because of like being able to draw it or paint it or whatever is such a, such an unreal feeling. And that's how I feel with photography, like being able to see something and say, you know what? I think that could be an interesting picture. I think that could be something really cool. And then bringing it to life is just, it's unlike anything else. I continue to be a photographer because of how much I just absolutely enjoy that feeling. All right, let's do another one of these. Uh, let's do, it's charming so far. Oh, I've played a lot of these. I'm actually getting through all your levels. I'm going to run out of le levels for you, Edgar. Uh, 2 1 Bouncy Mushroom. I could, I could rant about Batman for a long time, but I can rant about photography for longer. Because it's just. Again, it's become such an obsession for something I enjoy so much. And I want to spend all day doing photography like... Oh, jumped right into that guy. When I was in the office today, because you can't do anything else when you're in the office, right? There's no... I'm talking to other people or doing other things. You're in the office and you're doing work. It's like, all I wanted to do was go home, spend time with Emmy, and then go out into like the forest and do some photography. So... That's all I could feel like doing. You enjoy doing fan art? Uh, start doing the sketch for Tiny Tina. The fan art is cool. I wish I could do more fan art, honestly. There's so many things I'd love to bring to life that I just don't have the ability to bring to life. But, I mean, I can do that with miniatures. I got a whole bunch of army men to do, like, uh, army men scenes with uh, photography. So someday I'll bring those guys out and do something like that. I'm just happy that someone trusts me to do a painting from their photos. Like, there's there's no way bad way to do a painting, right? Even if it doesn't look exactly like the photo, part of painting is, like, artistic interpretation, right? Like, 
the photo made you feel something, so you tried to recreate that through the painting, even if it's not an exact replica of the painting, is my understanding of it, so... I wouldn't be offended any way on that one, even if it didn't look similar. And the, that, that happens actually kind of a lot in photography, too. This is something I was just talking about with Emmy on, like, I have a, um, another photographer friend who's very talented, very good, very smart, one of the best photographers I know. And we just have different artistic styles. A lot of my photos I don't think he ends up liking because he doesn't like my saturations and colors. And and that's okay. You can have different artistic styles and opinions. I like super saturated photos. I, I don't know why. I just always loved the very saturated photos. If you ever want specific fan art, I can do it for you. Well, on that topic... Um, I was thinking, I was getting the, the urge to play a Pokemon Nuzlocke again. I was kind of thinking about trying an all Eevee Nuzlocke and trying to win with a team of Eevees. So if we win that one, we might need a might need an Eevee team thing to go with the, uh, the Bidoof art. So that's if I win, though. Because y'all know my bad luck with Eevees, so... doing well here. Sorry, I missed your comment. If you play my old levels, you can see my improvement in new levels. I mean, that's the that's the point, right? Like, uh, always improving. You saw a quote that said, a painting speaks so many stories that it never lies. Exactly. There's, there's so much to it. So much to painting, so much to art. And like I don't I don't like all art either, right? Like um I'll make it even if you don't win. That's probably the more likely. You know, a lot of people like to make fun of the uh the modern artists where it's like you put a a dot of paint on a white canvas and sell it for 150 million and you put this really like specific meaning behind it like that's definitely not for me. That's not my favorite kind of art, but it doesn't make it any less valid, right? And, you know, there's always the people who say, like, oh, well, I could have done that. Well, it's, it's one of those things, like, you know, mechanics get paid a lot of money for sometimes doing something very simple. And there's a joke that goes, you know, someone takes their car to the mechanic because it's broken. The mechanic walks up to it and hits it with a hammer. It works and says that'll be $500. And I say, $500? You just hit it with a hammer. Why would I pay you $500? They say, well, it was $10 for hitting with the hammer. And then it was $490 to know where to hit it with the hammer. That kind of applies with art too, right? Being a, an abstract artist or a more modern art, things like that are all, all in those fields as well. So I hesitate to say that there's no such thing as bad art because I'm pretty sure someone out there will prove me wrong because I have seen some things that I wish I hadn't have seen. So I'm pretty sure there is bad art, but... I can't think of any off the top of my head, but I'm not going to say that there's no such thing, because I'm pretty sure there is. Like that subreddit about the cars. That one probably can fall into that category. Oh, oh that's supposed to be a long jump. All right, so we have concluded that Mario Maker does not uh, is not quite as popular at night, so maybe we'll have to do different games at night. Like I said, I've been thinking about doing that Pokemon run, and then I got a new D&D &D book that I'm dying to play the adventure, so I am probably going to make a D&D &D adventure and play like on Saturdays or something D&D, &D, and maybe I'll stream that. Art isn't a talent, to be honest. It's something that takes many years of practice. There isn't bad art, but a history. I think that's a good way of putting it. And I definitely know that, that saying something's talent can definitely be very dismissing, where someone's like, oh, you're such a talented artist. And it's like, well, I practice a lot. Well, you were just born with so much talent. I can never do that. No, I, I practice a lot. I know that happens in all the, all the arts, writing, photography, everything. You name it, someone will just dismiss it as, oh, I can never do that because yeah, I just wasn't born with the talent. No. You have to practice a lot, so definitely don't want to dismiss people with that.
All right, another good level from Edgar. I think we probably have time for one or two more levels tonight. Koopa Village. Let's let's visit the Koopas. It's an art level. A lot of key doors. Ooh, underwater? On off switches? There's a lot going on here. Okay. Coin key. Key. All right, we got one key. Ooh. Tomorrow. Tomorrow they're announcing the new WoW expansion. Super excited to find out about that. To be honest, it does get annoying when people say that to talent, not knowing that the only reason someone got really good with specific things is because they practiced it multiple times. No one is perfect on the first try. That is exactly why I um, I keep all of my old photos. Because like, if you go back and look at my old photos from my first became a photographer, they are awful, truly awful, hideous photos that are uninteresting, bad, bad everything on them. But I like to use that as a tool to show like, hey, here's where I started and here's where I'm at now. So you can improve, but you got to... You gotta take a bad photo to make a good photo, right? You gotta paint a bad painting before you can paint a good painting. Like, there's there's a lot to it. This was a beginner-friendly 3D world level, and then making an extremely hard level afterwards. Like making easy levels while making interesting to play. That is definitely an art as well. I know a lot of people think if it's an easy level, that means that it has to be like a boring, straightforward run and just touch the flag. It doesn't have to be that easy. There's definitely a lot you can do that still makes it an easy level, but an interesting level. And that is also very hard to do. I would definitely put Mario Maker level creators in the artist category. Like, there's some, there are some Mario Maker levels that are 100% art, and you couldn't convince me otherwise. So, especially the art levels. I don't think we have enough keys. One... Two. No, I'm. I think I'm missing a key. You'll see once you look through your list of levels, January to February. Okay. Learning from mistakes helps improve your skills. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. January, February. Tw oh, twenty twenty-two, not twenty twenty-one. In Food Wars, they talk about that, right? That's the kind of experience you gain from messing up. So... Okay, looks like there's more keys over here. The painting you're doing for me is the first photographic painting. Well, I love it already. I know it's not done yet, but I already love it, so I can't wait to see more of it. And if you ever need more things to paint, I definitely have a whole catalog of photography, so if there's anything else you're specifically looking to paint, animals, jellyfish, all that sort of thing, I got gotcha. you. Naturalism painting. All right, what do we got down here? This is another key, right? Okay, we found one more. I think there's one more key I need. I think. Maybe this is enough. I don't know yet. Let's see. We we'll turn in the keys. See what happens. Can I play my neck, my back by Richard Cheese? I don't think so. I, that doesn't sound like something I would play. Is that a level or is that music? <laughs> Thank you, Dragon. I really appreciate that. Jariah's here. Hello, Jariah. Just got home. 
You're just in time for the end of the stream. <laughs> There's only got about 10 minutes left. <laughs> music? No, I can't. Uh, my thing is not set up, set up for any music, unfortunately, so I can't play any music. You want to do the squirrel next? Oh, do I have so many squirrel photos for you if you want to do a squirrel next? Oh, I do have enough keys. Okay, I got one more. I know, Jariah. My schedule is messed up this week for um, for streaming. It'll be back to normal next week, but it's going to be like a week-to-week -week thing that's going to constantly go back and forth every week, unfortunately, for at least the next few months. And then we'll see what happens. A little bit of pixel art with clouds, some trees, maybe a hidden one up. A hidden power up, maybe. No. Alright. But at least you get to see the Luigi hat. Oh, missed my. Definitely want to see one. You can paint one. There's one squirrel photo. I'll have to post it in chat once we're done here. It is one of my favorite photos ever. And I wish that I had my better gear on me when I was taking it because it was such a random shot that I'll never, I will never ever get to recreate it ever again. But we were at the, um, the Bush House Haunted Museum and there was a squirrel just poking its head through the bushes and it was the absolute cutest thing I've ever seen. And like I said, I only had like one lens on me and it was a really short lens, so I didn't get like a good shot of it because it was too far away. But it was absolutely adorable and I would love to recreate it, but I'm pretty sure I'll never get an opportunity to do that again. So what are you gonna do? Okay, so we can't go down that pipe. Maybe we go here, okay. He was the guardian of the bushes and it was so adorable. Like I said, I love taking pictures of squirrels. I, I don't know why, they're just my... Squirrel photos are my jam. Alright, we did it. Good game. Now my hair is all messed up. You guys are chipping away at that impromptu challenge. GG. You love squirrels so much, you used to rescue and raise baby squirrels and raccoons. That is absolutely adorable. I wish I could do that, because they are super adorable. Or like those people who have like the flying squirrels in their house, they throw the they throw the little squirrels and they go flying around the rooms like absolutely adorable. You remind me of Max and Cheese? Max and Cheese. Mac and Cheese. Oh, um, like from Foster's Home? That Mac and Cheese? Or is that a different Mac and Cheese? Foster's Home for Imaginary Kids was such a great show. It's one of my favorite episodes with Cheese, too. The, I like chocolate milk. I like cereal. See, and I like potatoes. Such a good episode. Because you love mac and cheese, I'm way off base then. Oh, here talking, talking about Foster's Home for Imaginary Kids while she's professing her love to me. I'm sorry. That was, that was my bad. That was my failure of romance right there. Oh, here goes Luigi. Maybe that's what we should have for Friday, this uh, upcoming Friday, since we can't do meat. Maybe we should do some vegetarian macaroni and cheese. All right, let's get that red coin. Good luck. Ah, I see why, see why good luck is needed. Oh. I can see this being really tough. Hmm. 
There we go. Up we go. Can't even get in. Come on. I got in there perfectly the first time, and I can't do it the second time. I don't know if she'll see that Dragon Ghost, because she's watching WandaVision right now, so we'll see. We'll see if she sees that. There we go. Okay. Got that one. Oh! Wow. Got sniped. You had fun making those levels, but your Super Mario levels are way better. The, the world. Well, that's how you know you improve, right? If you look back on your old work and say, I like that, but I like this way better, it means you made progress. Excuse me. Go. Oh, that was bad timing. Now let's see if we can get the other ones. Nope. That's a firm no. <laughs> All right. It is 7.57. I've still got to make one or two videos for tomorrow, so I think I'm going to end the stream here. I probably won't stream tomorrow since I stream tonight because I want to spend more time with Emmy, but... I wanted to do a little bit of streaming this week, so here's one stream for you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow, and we'll figure out another stream to do. And Emmy's going to stream tomorrow, so watch out for her to do her art stream tomorrow. If you're not already following her, go check her out. Thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight, and we will see you again maybe Wednesday, maybe Thursday, some other day. Not tomorrow, but someday soon. See y'all later.